Hello there Libra and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today I am doing your bonus reading. You were once again one of my top cues last week. So thank you so much for your support of my channel. So today we're going to do a bonus reading. This will be for this really important week of the full moon in Aquarius, which happens today, August 22nd. And um, really will go until the new moon in September. And this is kind of a portal for looking at clarity in relationships. So we'll be seeing, this is kind of a general reading, but um, we'll see what comes out in this. And once again, if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I would love to hear your comments or please consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, so let's take a look and, you know, I don't usually <laughs> get flashes of cards, but I did get one there. So loyal hearts, so that means something to do with a true soulmate or twin flame, but somebody that is truly connected to you at the heart level. But we'll see what else comes out in this reading. So you're overall round and round seeing some pattern. Um, the, the interesting thing with this card though, Libra, is that every time you go back through the, <laughs> the pattern, you're seeing it from a higher perspective. And when this card comes out, I really think that it's because you have ascended to the next level and you may be seeing the same pattern showing up again in your life. This could be a situation to do with work, a relationship, or just life in general, um, your belief systems. But this time around, you're going to be taking a higher look at it, a more wiser look at it. So um, really interesting, you know, the intuition, kind of like the third eye of the face there is really being highlighted for me. So I think you're really intuitively, you know, working through um, taking a closer look at this pattern and what it may mean for you in your life. And that is what this full moon in Aquarius is all about, is about getting clarity about patterns, about relationships, and how you work within them. Okay, so we have exchanging gifts. For a lot of you, this clarity is going to be about trying to find more balance, both within yourself um, you know, balancing, you know, like your ego and your heart, also balancing, you know, your, your want for external, um, you know, recognition, and then internally recognizing yourself for your own worth, and also your relationships, you know, balance within your relationships, giving and getting, um, you know, equal amounts, and then milk and honey, really nice. Ten of cups, this is like the ten of cups. Having your blessings, you know, I really get a sense of good blessings coming in. Fork, on the, fork in the road on the bottom. Big decision possibly coming up this week or sometime um, before that new moon in September. So about in the next two weeks. This portal is kind of open in the next two weeks. So there may be a big decision coming around. And especially with the round and round you may be coming back um, revisiting something but possibly deciding to go in a different route this time like you've learned the lesson on the lower level and now you've kind of come up to a higher level and looking at things it's about getting that internal wisdom and choosing to go in a different direction this time and you have building blocks i love this card because it's like you're really making a decision to build something that's good for you and possibly good for a relationship. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm not just going to take the easy route out. I'm going to do the work and put in the effort, the time and the effort that it takes to build a strong foundation on something. You also have chaos and conflict underneath that. So, you know, sometimes when we're deciding to take a new <laughs> route, <laughs> so you have, you come up and you have two paths and normally everybody would think you're going to go this way and you decide, no, wait a minute, this time I'm going to go this way. Sometimes that can cause conflict in our life. Um, but just recognizing that we people, look at this, I got another flash, two of cups on the bottom, and I really don't normally get flashes like that. So um, I'm taking that as kind of a sign from my guides. Um, 
when you come into conflict, when you choose to go in another path that people are not expecting you to go in, the, the problem is, is that it triggers fears within them, like fears of abandonment or fears of rejection or fears, you know, that, it, you know, you don't love them anymore or something like that. And it, it may have absolutely nothing to do with the reason why you made that decision. You're making a decision because you're wanting to do something that's really best for you. You're looking out for yourself. Um, you're trying to move towards your true happiness. And so it's just kind of like having compassion for the people that may kind of, you know, want to cause a little chaos and conflict, maybe even trying to manipulate you to move in the direction that they want you to move in just to keep themselves safe. That's their ego just trying to... Uh, you know, keep them safe. And you just have to kind of keep that in mind as you're intuitively moving forward is not to sometimes take everything um, like at face value or personally just understanding that you are doing the right thing. When you listen to your heart and listen to your intuition and go forward with good intentions for yourself, um, there's nothing selfish about that. And there's Nothing wrong about that, even if some people in your life may want to try to make you feel that way. Okay, so we're going to take a look at your present energy, um, any resistance or obstacles in your way, uh, advice from spirit, and then the final outcome. And we'll clarify these. So I'll lay these out and then we'll come back and talk about them and clarify them. Okay, your present energy, King of Swords. I love this. This is your energy, Libra, right? You are an air sign. It's getting about, you're getting crystal clear about what it is that you want for yourself. And that makes so much sense with this full moon in Aquarius. It's all about getting the clarity about where you are wanting to go. And it could be that for some time you have have felt like there was a little bit of a fog that is totally normal because the fog is about to lift <laughs> you are about to get this clarity and it is like part of this decision may not be somebody actually asking you to make a decision it's kind of like the fog lifts and you kind of realize I've been going down this one path for a very long time but this path just keeps kind of leading me back to the same direction and it's kind of like Wait a minute, I think I'm going to go in a different direction this time. Okay, so let's see what your obstacle or what you're resisting, Emperor. And you know, this is you stepping into your power. You know, when some people may, you know, come up and, you know, this chaos and conflict, I keep coming back to this. I think this could be part of it is that people are going to come in and, you know, you have this never ending story underneath that. It's kind of like, they're going to be like, yeah, but you always do blah, blah, blah. You know, like, or I really wanted you to do blah, blah, blah. Like they're going to um, try to talk you into, almost guilt shame you into going in the same direction that you always have. And this could be somebody you're in a romantic relationship, family, friend, even a coworker or your, you know, your boss, because we have an emperor here. Um, it's kind of like a power struggle that is going to be your obstacle is that you need to step into your own power and looking out for yourself, looking out for what it is that you're getting crystal clear about that you want for yourself. Looking at your Ten of Cups, looking at your hopes and dreams of the future. And even if you don't know exactly how you're going to get there, like kind of getting the sense of, okay, I don't know exactly everything on my path, but I do know I want to go in this direction and taking that first step realizing that you have gifts and talents, um, lots of love and abundance to share with the universe. And it's time that you started sharing those. And there are going to be people that are going to possibly not want you to go in this direction. But it is about stepping into your power, you know, just saying, hey, I'm, I'm not doing this to hurt you. I'm doing this to because it's the best thing for me. 
Okay, so your advice is move on. Move on from the people that are trying to hold you back. Move on from the belief systems that are trying to hold you back. Ask yourself, what is it I need to leave behind so that I can step into my power? I can move towards my milk and honey. What do I need to leave behind? Is that certain people, certain situations, a career, a job, a city, <laughs> you know, a hobby? Um you know, an addiction, and I'm not going to say like an addiction, like you, you know, but, but kind of like, do you spend a lot of time uh, watching television instead of working on something that will bring you more, um, you know, uh, abundance and joy and happiness, uh, working on something, some hobby, some gifts, some talent that you can refine so that you can share it more, um, Fully, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, fully with the universe. It's about moving on from things that are holding you stuck. You know, she's sitting on a cloud and she's moving with the cloud. It's not like you have to race forward, but it's taking those steps day by day that'll help you to get closer and closer to what it is that you're really wanting to bring into your life. Nice energy. Okay, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this is considered, you know, the single lady card. Uh, gender doesn't matter, but it's that, you know, being independent, stepping into your power, realizing that you can create um, wonderful things, sharing your gifts with the world, co-creating with the universe, um, being financially stable. You know, it's kind of the single amingle <laughs> card, but it doesn't... It's not necessarily that you have to be single. It's about being independent, not allowing um, a, if you're in a romantic relationship and you're happy in that relationship, it's uh, it's making sure that it's not codependent, that it is equally balanced. And if you're not in a relationship, it's about owning your independence and realizing I don't need somebody else to make me complete. I am complete in my own and when I'm sharing my gifts with the world. Really nice energy. On the bottom, Ace of Swords. See, you are really going to be getting this clarity. You're stepping into this clarity about what it is that you want for yourself. It could be that for a lot of you, you've been, you know, um, in relationships or situations Um where you just didn't have this balance and it's kind of like you're getting this true clarity about you have to really you have to really step into your power and do what is really good for you. You may have been concerned about making sure everybody else around you is happy and putting kind of yourself last and it's kind of like whoa wait a minute the king of swords cuts out everything <laughs> that is not for his best good i mean a little bit cold-hearted i'll have to say but sometimes we have to get into this energy so that we can you know sometimes you have to get into that energy and not be so concerned about what everybody else thinks so that you can, it's kind of like, okay, they're giving me, you know, pruning a tree. Like, you know, if I you cut back some of the limbs, right, or the people and situations in your life that are hindering the growth of the tree, then the tree can really blossom and grow and be more healthy. And that's kind of like the energy that I see in the cards for you is that you got to be kind of like the, the tree pruner. You got to start cutting off those limbs and think of yourself as a tree cut off the limbs that are no longer serving you so that you can grow bigger and stronger and more in your power and be healthier really nice energy oh libra i love to see this okay king of swords let's see what we have here wow tower nine of swords king of swords again page of wands getting some spark of of inspiration okay with the tower i think you're almost going to get this like epiphany you're going to be like in literally sleeping in the middle of the night or awake in the middle of the night. This is kind of like, you know, the anxiety, awake in the middle of the night, cannot get to sleep because, you know, you're trying to figure something out. You get this clarity. Look at, you have the King of Swords clarifying the King of Swords. You get this clarity about, whoa, wait a minute. What, what am I putting up with? 
or why why am I dealing with this person this situation you know why is this pattern repeating what do I need to do here and it's kind of like you know I mean <laughs> Not to get graphic, but it's kind of like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I got to do some tree pruning here. I got to get my swords out and start cutting off some of these limbs that are like choking me. It's almost like the vines that are choking the tree. It's kind of like, okay, I got to get my, my pruning shears out, <laughs> my chainsaw if I need to, right? And start cutting back some of the, the growth that is hindering who I really am and where I want to go. So your resistance is stepping into your power. Yeah, you have Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. There's something that you want to help you long term. And, you know, a lot of times this is a family card, kind of like, you know, you may be trying to build something for your family, whether your immediate family right now or your future family. You could be trying to... Um, really come into a sense of wealth. The King of Pentacles is the wealth. Stepping into your power, getting control of your money, um, looking at life in a different way. The Hanging Man is a little bit about finding a different perspective about something that you're doing concerning your career or finances. Yeah, it's um you're it's some it has something think about something that you are putting up with perhaps to do with money and it could be even family taking advantage of you financially or a job that is taking advantage of you like you know, you're working a lot of hours, but you're really not getting paid for all of that. There's something about exchanging gifts. You're, you're not getting from either a job, a situation, family members. It could be a romantic connection. A lot of times with this Ten of Pentacles, I think that it is a little bit more about family. So it could be even extended family. It could be if you're, you know, um, if you have children, you know, that kind of like are milking you dry. <laughs> um, uh, that Wow, they gave me that. Um, it's kind of like, I feel like somebody is in a way milking you dry. I keep getting that message. It's about getting the clarity about, uh, look at, you have the two of cups, about what is good for you and a true soulmate. Whether this person is in your life or not, it's kind of like, I think a lot of you possibly are single at this time, but it's kind of like you're wanting to build a really strong foundation for yourself so that you can um, have a stable, a financially stable base for your own future and the future of your children. Your even if you don't have children now, like your future children, your grandchildren. It's almost like you're you're wanting to build some type of a legacy, but you're kind of like. You're allowing some circumstance in the present to prevent you from doing that. Really interesting. Um, and this is something like some of you may be thinking, no, I don't really want to leave a legacy or something like that. But I think that you need to take a really close look at your heart space. There's something that is kind of, I think, going to be coming clear within maybe the next two weeks about something that you, a, a dream, somehow a dream that you have had, maybe even since childhood, is kind of like resurfacing. It's coming back around. And it's kind of like, yeah, wait a minute. I've always wanted to go do that. And it's about cutting out in what's in your life that is draining you from doing that. You know, there could be something that you would really like to do, but you're financially supporting people in your life that are taking your financial, um, I'm not going to say your financial stability away, but they're taking something and they're not really giving you something fair in exchange. It's kind of like they are kind of expecting it. And this is not allowing you to do something that you'd really like to do. 
that's really meant for you, that makes you really happy. Like you're kind of doing this because they just kind of expect it. Like they keep coming around asking for money or asking for help or, or something like that. And you're moving on from it. I mean, your advice is you're moving on from it. Like I really think you're getting the clarity about, and it might not even be somebody asking you for money. It could be a situation where you feel like this is draining your financial, um, your finances in some way. It could be even a hobby, you know, like you spend a lot of money on some hobby that's really expensive and you're like, you know, I'm just not getting the joy out of that anymore. I could take that money and I could go do blah, blah, blah. And, you know, work on a gift, develop some type of gift that would help the collective or, or you know, somehow meets some happier, <laughs> happier part of you. So let's see what the Six of um, Swords is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're trying to move. There's something that's holding you back. That's um, making you feel sad at some level. Something that you may not have actually kind of admitted to yourself before. Like I really think you're, this tower moment here is like you get the clarity. Like you may have... Uh, a conversation with, you know, a stranger in a coffee shop or something. And then they say, yeah, you know, I've always wanted to blah, blah, blah. And you're like, whoa, wait a minute. I always wanted to do that. And then all of a sudden it's kind of like, yeah, how can I make that happen? It's about you stepping into your power and making something happen that you've always wanted to make happen. Look at this. I mean, this is a slow moving, but I love the Knight of Pentacles energy. It's one of my favorites. It's slow but it's grounded and it's building the foundation that you need to step into this new chapter of your life. Like you are making, you are taking, this is the small steps. <laughs> There's no leaps and bounds. You're taking the small steps that you need to, to step into moving towards your milk and honey and look at the lovers. I mean, this is the old choice card. This could mean that you have a true soulmate coming onto your path. We've had the two of cups. We saw the loyal heart on the bottom. There is something about soulmate energy here, but I also think that this is a card about you choosing you. This is about self-love, choosing something that is at your heart, like really following some dream that you have. And once again, I think it's almost like a dream you may have put away in a box <laughs> in the back of the closet. Like that's just never going to happen, you know? And it's kind of like, wait a minute, it's like it's resurfacing and you're like, you know, I think I'd really like to go try that now. Okay, so let's see what the Nine of Pentacles is. Yeah, oh my gosh, yes. Queen of Cups, look at this. You do have a true soulmate coming in. I think when you really step into this power of want of cutting back what is no longer serving you, and I know we've had that conversation before, but it is like really cut back what is no longer serving you, putting yourself first. Look at what you have. You have a true soulmate coming in. You are manifesting this. It's when you step into your your power, your independence, choosing what is best for you, you put away all the heartbreak of the past. And this is true heartbreak. This is, you know, the swords being, you know, stabbed in your back. You put the pain of that away and look, you just like, you know, this is the wheel of fortune. The blessings come in with this true soulmate energy. Oh, what Libra, it's so beautiful. And I honestly think this is like really, oh my gosh. And then I pick up the deck and look at what was left on the table. The Empress, and look at you have the Emperor, okay? And genders don't matter here. It's the energy. You have two court um, couples here. You have the King and Queen of Cups and the Emperor and the Empress. It's like this is a true soulmate, but the key is to choose yourself, is to choose something that you really want to do and really cutting back those things, those people, those situations that are no longer serving you and realizing, I'm going to come back to this, that when you choose to go in this new direction, right, when this person comes back around and asks you for 
you know, oh, can you help me make the rent this month? Or um, uh, I'm out of work. Can you give me a job? You know, and then they take the job for a month and then they ditch you. You know, like you see this pattern. I'm not saying this is a new person. It could be a new person, but it's the same kind of pattern. And you see this pattern coming around and you say to yourself, you know what? That really doesn't help me. I'm giving a lot in this situation, but I'm not getting a lot. And then going into this new direction, this person may get upset. They may. And it's kind of like you're choosing, though, to love yourself. You're choosing to go in a new direction. And by doing that, it's kind of like all of this. Look at, I mean, this is just, I mean, there's so much joy here. Uh, you just have the world, the, mil the milk and honey, which is like the ten of cups. You have the true soulmates coming in. You have so much good energy. And it's really about just stepping into, you know what? I'm just not going to repeat that pattern anymore. I'm sorry. You, wait a minute. You don't even have to say you're sorry. Just say, not this time. Not this time. And just, you don't have to explain yourself. Oh my goodness. Cosmic journey. Out of the mess comes elegant order. Uh, how fitting is that? There's going to be chaos and conflict. Okay. There's going to be somebody that is upset. There's going to be this chaos. Now, you know that, but you also know that by choosing to do what is best for you, Libra, you get the blessings. Like, this is, if you listen to this, right, this chaos and conflict, and you cave, it's almost like if you cave and you go down the same path, guess what's going to happen? A uh, few weeks, few months, few years down the path, you're going to have the same pattern again. And it's like, no, this time you're going to choose differently. And when you choose differently, you get a different outcome. You get a different outcome. Really nice. And this, you know, it could be, you know, a romantic connection coming back, but I think it doesn't, whatever this pattern, this situation, this um, relationship, you know, you're going to recognize it this time. And your intuition is going to be sounding the alarm bells and you're going to say, you know what, I usually say yes to that, but this time I'm saying no. <laughs> I'm going my own way. Oh my goodness, here's your creativity oracle card and it says, let go. What, if anything, can be done to let go of what is standing in your way? Take a good look at that, Libra. What can you let go of? What can you let go of? Um, I think for some of you, somebody is trying to, somebody may even really try to manipulate you, play to your emotional heartstrings, that type of thing. But you always help me, you know, it's that I can see like almost like somebody, you know, really kind of, you know, oh, but you always help me. And then you say no again. And then they, you know, they can flare up. What? You know, like, what are you doing? You're ruining my life. You know, that type of energy. <laughs> okay, so here is your lover's oracle card, power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, angels. They, they, I mean, it's just the same message. You have the power to say no and walk away at any time. No explanation needed. Just say no and walk away and they may throw their hissy fit but you're ready for that and you're stepping into your clarity you're like i'm cutting it out it's not good for me it may be good for you but it's not good for me <laughs> and just choosing you where's my where is my lover's card again here it is <laughs> choosing you choosing to go in the direction that's best for you brings in your true soulmate well, Libra, wow, what a reading. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> it's kind of a refreshing reading too for you. So I do wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. And um, once again, if you resonated with the message, I love to read your comments. So please leave a comment or please consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And once again, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.